Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur. and is your car broken? Does your truck have a bad radiator that needs to be replaced, but repaired, but you don't need... Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur. and is your car broken? Does your truck have a radiator that needs to be replaced, but you don't know how to get it to the shop? Well, there is a new company out there that has been deemed the Uber for car repair, and it's called Wrench. And what is Wrench? Well, it is a startup company from Seattle. Um, and it has raised like $4 million. And apparently what it will do is it will, you can summon a mechanic to come to your work or your house or really anywhere you want and do a car repair, specific car repair. There would be upfront pricing. You'd call the mechanic, you'd say what you need. And it would get a mechanic who has five plus years of experience to come fix the car for that price. It won't do jobs on the middle of the road for safety reasons, obviously. But otherwise, the idea is you can pretty much call it call the mechanic and they would fix it anywhere. Now, this isn't operating any, everywhere. Um, it's currently operating in Seattle, Phoenix, San Diego, and Portland. That's uh, all, that's, that's where they're starting out and that's just the way it is. This is an interesting concept. This is a very interesting concept because here's the thing. Getting your car repaired is not fun and it can be quite tricky in fact. Uh, I am thankful to have a good mechanic. His name's Matt, and he is trustworthy, and he doesn't overcharge me, and he won't go with the most expensive thing first, and I like him a lot, but it's hard for people to find a good mechanic. It's hard to know when you're getting screwed. It's, in shopping around car repair, is it's just a nightmare. It really is. So if they can simplify it with a smartphone app, that would be good. I do have some questions though. How are they going to change the culture of car repair? Is there going to be like you say, my car needs this repair and it lists like several mechanics and what their prices are? Um, does it save you some money if you have the part, you just don't know how to install it? Uh, what if you call the mechanic for a problem and the mechanic gets there looks at the car, does some work, and realizes that that's not even the issue that the car has. You don't need a new radiator, you need a new transmission. That's not something that would normally get mixed up. Let's say you think you need brakes and you need a new transmission, so I don't, I don't know. I'm not much of a mechanical person myself. What happens there? Does the mechanic get paid a partial way fee for diagnosing it? Diagnosing it? I, I don't know. Uh, can you use this just to get the car diagnosed? And again, how do you know that they're trustworthy? This is an interesting app. I'm not against it. I think it has a lot of potential. I don't know how it's going to work in the long run. And in all fairness, they have only raised like, uh, they, they've announced four, they raised $4 million, which is not a lot of money. Uh, they did release um, $1.2 million last year. So it is truly in startup mode. It has not even spread its wings yet. It's in four cities, and this is something that they're going to have to figure out some of these things before they start rolling it out, and who knows if it's going to ever catch on. I, I don't know, um, but uh, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be very interesting um, because they're kind of going like, yeah, well, much like Uber takes you places and much like Grubhub brings you food, Wrench will bring you a mechanic. Um, it is Wrench, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the CEO who told GeekWire, Wrench continues to invest in its technology, which provides a huge advantage in this industry and the hiring of the highest quality mechanics. That's another thing. How do you know what the highest quality mechanics are? And what if the mechanic starts doing a bad job? Um, what? How will the rating system look to get them kicked off the job? Because I can easily see people giving good mechanics bad ratings just because they don't like the price of the... Uh, the car repair and I've incurred I have um, campaigned for Uber and Lyft and DoorDash and Postmates although actually Postmates kind of did this so we'll, we'll take them off um, for them to like have like a little bit of like a selection like if you give a bad grade why did you give a bad grade and there should be a few selections in there that are not that are outside the drivers or the mechanics in this case control and if someone selects that answer they should automatically have that low rating overturned to a good rating because they had no control over that whether it be price or they didn't show up because 
they showed up like 10 minutes late, which can easily happen. There, There's traffic. Um, there's just going to be a lot of um, bumps along the road, and I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on the app. I'm going to be keeping an eye on what they're going to do to fix these, and hopefully... It, there won't be too many problems and we'll get this soon and maybe it'll work. And if it would work, I would love that. I would seriously love that. I do wonder about the future though, because, uh, you know, some people might have to close their shop because it's going online now. But the positive thing about this is you can't, you can't replace the mechanics with bots. I don't believe you can do that. So these jobs are at least going to be secure. And this just might be a new way of doing business, of getting additional business. Who knows? Like I said, this is a very exciting app. We'll have to see what, what goes. But what do you guys think? Do you want to use Wrench? Do you see yourself using Wrench? Have any of you used Wrench? That I would like to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.